It's your boy JB, Mr. Major Man, Mr. 504 Jeezy from the Big Easy here to walk y'all back to the showroom. And today, I got a review for y'all. But before I get into the review, y'all, I deeply want to appreciate everybody who's tuning in. And as always, I want y'all to subscribe. Also, find me on my social media platforms if you haven't already, which will be linked in the description below. And I'm going to just be real with y'all right now. Your boy is drained. Like... I don't know about y'all and I don't know how it is in the rest of the how the rest of the country is right now. Today was just one of those days like the heat, it wasn't the regular heat and we wasn't even at like peak humidity levels like we were like what 40%. But I'll show y'all right here how hot it was and then how hot it what how hot it felt like. Like today was just one of those days that it it definitely got out your boy it definitely got out but um i'm gonna just but gotta get this review out the way but before i get into the review i want to see a few of these pickups that i got and the first one is this for y'all kids who, who aren't aware or don't know about y'all history this is a blockbuster t-shirt make it a blockbuster night t-shirt was able to pick this up from target they did open back up down here managed to snag me one of these I definitely like, you know, I'm a graphic t-shirt junkie. So, had to get this shirt, goes good with, uh, I just had to pair them up with my next uh, lookbook video. But that's definitely a dope shirt right there. And I also picked up a Nike No L's t-shirt, which is probably the most hypocritical shirt that Nike could ever, ever, ever produce like they're slick side trolling us on some shit i'm just being real about it but it does go good with my bo jackson's considering that this is uh the color is basically that lava colorway but as y'all can see i did pick this up from city gear it was on sale like it was on the under 20 under 20 dollar rack and i think it was even less than that after i picked it up and i also picked up oh update since Walmart severely damaged my product, I did, I was able to get another Funko for free. As y'all can see, I had did. I got the Tiger Wood Funko. So can't go wrong with getting something for free. As y'all can see there, Tiger Woods, y'all, Tiger Tiger Woods. Had to get this one. So, I mean, not bad, but I still would have preferred my George one to be like in pristine condition and i also picked up some lightning collection figures as y'all can see this came from amazon this is uh the blue beast morpher ranger uh he doesn't have all his accessories like uh the red one had but i mean just something to round off that that little piece of that collection and another one i've been waiting for is this one right here this is the mighty morpher power ranger Yellow Ranger, aka Trini. Trini. Uh, definitely ha happy to have this one in there. And if y'all could look real close right there, this is probably the best head sculpt Ranger to this day. Like, this looks exactly like her. Like, they butchered the Kimberly figure, but this looks exactly like Twain Train, the original Yellow Ranger. I'm wondering if they do a movie, decide to do a movie version, are they gonna uh, include the Aisha head with that, who uh, replaced her eventually on Power Rangers, but we'll have to find out and see. I would love for them to like, at least put her on there because she did take over that mantle after uh, Trini left the show. And another pickup I also get, this is the Nike woven track pants. And this is probably gonna go good with what I, I'm about to review in a second. But as y'all can see, this is a reissue of what, when they do, when Nike does reissues, it's just a reissue of a older style from a previous decade. So this is a 90s style pant right here. So this is the like early 90s track pants. As y'all can see, you got the white Nike logo on there. Logo on there. This is a loose fit and also it has the zipper on the bottom as y'all can see right there but you know 
these retro styles are starting to come back in style so a lot of people are getting up on these and i think i, I got this one from amazon as well but if y'all want to look up the styling code this is the style code for this shoe i mean for this pants right here i want to look that up and yeah but yeah definitely a dope pants can't go wrong with it red black and white that's just some dope ass colors but uh let's go ahead and get into these shoes right here all right as y'all can see we have a nike sportswear box and let's go ahead and get into that label this is the air max up temple 95 size 11 style code is ck0892 color code is 101 and retail on these was $160. But your boy didn't pay that. All right. And as y'all can see, it comes with regular Nike paper. And let's go ahead and get into this shoe. And bam. The Nike Air More of Temple in the Chicago Bulls colorway. And for those who are familiar with the shoe, this is another shoe that was worn by Scottie Pippen, but only it also was worn by Tony Kuko for the Chicago Bulls. And this was worn during that 95 season. Uh, and also like this is the year Jordan returned in his infamous I'm Back campaign that he was going off of. This shoe right here. If y'all familiar with the more of temple this is the predecessor to that shoe as y'all can see this has full length air just like the air more temple and it also is constructed with that almost same build the only thing different was they just Prodigy removed the spools and put the air down here and made, made it just like a bold a bold look on that shoe. now what a lot of people forget about this model is the up temple model in general especially this model this is a uh, Technically, what the Up Temple Two? I think I believe it's the two or the three. I can't remember which which one it actually is, but um, like this devolves back into the Flight Eighty Nine because like there were two divisions of Nike. You had the Flight and the Force division. This is pretty much piggybacking off of the Force division. So like this is more for a speedy guard, speedy power forward, like more agile agile and quick uh players despite how bulky this shoe is but yeah this is really what the up temple line was really about it's just another extension of the flight line but this shoe right here i'm gonna just say this like i'm i i'm very appreciative that these type of shoes are coming out right now because scotty pippen deserves like more light shine on him than what uh was initially given to him at that time but i also want to say uh Derek fisher did wear this shoe too he wore this shoe a lot like in the early 2000s in that lake colorway which also released too but these shoes they pretty much sat on shelf and uh like yeah but let's go ahead and get into the shoe as y'all can see on the bottom we have a predominantly white bottom with these red pods right here for indication i'm about to say it lacks no hair it doesn't have no hair and bone traction and the most famous thing that the air mall temple has is that window on the bottom of the shoe which you can actually see the air unit with the logo on the inside of it and leading up to the midsole as y'all can see i have that full length air midsole just like on the air more temple too can't wait for these to re-retro again we should be getting that this year but it's the, almost the same exact build on the shoe. Prodigy Y'all pay attention to that. And not only that, we have a almost a new buck, a new buck ran going around the shoe, the complete shoe, which is also if it, if you want to say it really takes hints of the Concord Eleven. If you want to really say note that as well, with that ran right there, that high ran pick that up for y'all y'all can see right there has a few of the similarities like the concord level when it comes to that black that bl white upper black bottom take a look at that 
but uh, not only that, you have a red swoosh on here, you have a white synthetic upper, synthetic leather, leather upper on there. You have air rope on the aglets of the shoe. I mean, uh, lace aglets of the shoe, lace loops or whatever you wanna call them. Now, what I noticed about this is, a lot of people said this right here wasn't present on there. I can't confirm nor deny that. Some They said it was white hair, which made it a cleaner looking shoe compared to putting that black loop right here. But, you know, Nike doesn't always stick to keeping their retros like how the originals was. And you also had that bungee style lace system like, uh, like the Moral Temple has, but it does the same thing the Moral Temple does because you can't see the logo due to this elastic band right here. But it still has that band on the back, just like the Air Moral Temple. You have all white laces, you have a mesh tongue for breathability, and you also have a red Nike Air lo Nike logo, Nike Swoosh logo on the inside of the shoe. Now my recommendation for the shoe, go true to size, and on the back you do have that up temple logo on the back as well. But yeah, my recommendation is to go true to size on here. Uh, not much to really go over on the shoe. Like I said, it's pretty, pretty straightforward as far as like a 90s basketball shoe is concerned. Like if you had the Air the Swift, the, uh, the Air Swift, the Flight, the Hirachi, the, um, the Barclays, Barclays Posits, uh, Phone Posits, Pennies, what else they had, uh, the maestros like any pretty much any any og nike best 90s nike basketball shoe this just screams all it just checks up all the marks of that of that era but uh let me know in the comment section below i will give y'all on feel this shoe and as always i need to appreciate y'all as always stay true stay fly stay blessed i am jc baby and we are in the showroom and i am out you dig